to Jesus. And it reads as thus. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof it and be glad. I have the New King James Version. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. And if I go down to verse 8, and it says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Glory to God. Matthew 16. And we do honor everyone else the official body, the evangelists, the ministers, the teachers, and the official body here at Tower Pat. Amen. Leave it down to the young people. And me to leave anybody out. Just got a little excited and I'll possibly get some time. Matthew 16, starting at verse 13. When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. I'm going to stop there. Amen. Glory to God. My subject on tonight, briefly, will be, do you know him, or is he just another blind date? Amen. Do you know him, or is he just another blind date? Yep. Thank you, God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we give you glory and honor, God. We pray, God, that you would decrease our fear, that you would increase, God. We pray, God, that you would just speak to your people on tonight, oh God. Give us revelation, knowledge, the wisdom of your word on tonight, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you would reveal the mysteries of your word, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray, God, that you would have your way and allow your will to be done. In Jesus' name, we do pray. And we say, Amen. 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 Glory to God. So when she said that on last night, I thank God in my spirit. And she said, is it just another blind day? And I thought about when I was down south and I was in college, I went to Miles College in, in, in Fairfield, Alabama, and left away from home, Josh, with Tiffany, so you don't do this thing, amen? <laughs> Glory to God. There I go again, telling all my business. Had a good time being away from home, but I wanted to be grown, amen? We got with a bunch of girls. We just wanted to party, uh, teach the Rogers, and just have a good time. So there was these guys that I lived in the dorm, amen. So there was these guys calling because they know us freshmen, you know, all the girls with them. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so we would talk to them on the phone, amen, glory to God, and set up, you know, we talked every, you know, for a little bit, and then we set up to go and hang out. Glory to God. And so that was called a blind date. We didn't know nothing about it. We knew what he sounded like, and homeboy was sounding good. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Voices are deceiving. Glory to God. But anyway, so we were like, now how we know we want to go out with these guys? We don't know what they look like. We don't know nothing about them. Mm -hmm. And so we, we got a plan together. We said, I tell you what, we're going to give them a certain name to call. And when they called that particular name, because they had to come to the desk, I can't remember what they called those ladies that monitored the desk, <laughs> monitored the door, Josh. And so anyway, when they called the name, we would sneak downstairs behind the curtains to see who was acting for us. <laughs> and if we didn't like the way they looked, <laughs> we didn't go out. <laughs> so we would see these guys coming down, <laughs> coming down the sidewalk. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I ain't going with y'all. They came in. My God, my God, we had to see what they look like. I'm like, y'all can go if y'all want to, but I ain't going. I was scared. I didn't know what could have happened to us. They looked weird. They were ugly. Amen. They weren't even dressed like they should have been dressed. 
They had on them platform heels. Some of them had, one of them had a, a light blue pants suit. You know that old one that fit tight? You know what I'm talking about, those from my day, right? Mm -hmm. They were looking jacket. I said, no, I am not going out with them. So nobody, so they called and called and called and nobody went down, nobody answered. So they left and they called back and we like, sorry. But that's a blind date. To have a, to, to make a date with somebody you don't know, or make an engagement with somebody that you don't know. Well, what, how does that relate to what I'm talking about on tonight? I'm not quite sure, but by the time I'm finished, we're gonna know how it relates, amen? But a blind date is, is partly having sort of a relationship with somebody, but really not having one, amen? amen. So when you look into the book of Psalms, in this particular portion of scripture, you find David. Now David was a man after God's own heart. David loved God, David loved to worship God, David loved to praise God, because David knew who God was. Now, when you talk about God, we all know God, and some of us only know of God. <laughs> some of us don't know who God really is. To some of y'all, God is just like a blind day. <laughs> Uh, some of y'all only talk to God when y'all going through something, right, glory to God. Right. Uh, some of you only talk to God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. When everything is fine, you ain't got time for God, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. But as soon as hell, all hell begin to break loose in your life, there you are calling God up. God, I need you to come by here. God, I need you to help me. God, I need you to save me.